What's up everybody? Welcome back and hope you're all having a great day. Today we're going to be looking at a viewer, oof, hard there, requested video. Um, how to animate two, or how to have two animations going from one trigger. I'm not exactly sure how he worded it, but this is what he was talking about, I believe. So as you can see, it's working here. I just tested it with multiple clients. It is synced. Um, this is our trigger for these two animations. And as soon as we step out, they will finish their animation cycle and freeze. And we step back in and they start up. So let's get right into it. Okay, so instead of completely recreating what I have here, because it's a little bit of a pain, and you don't really need to know everything I did if you already know how to animate objects. So what we're going to do is copy this cube, and we're going to make a third one. And the principle is the exact same. Um, as long as you follow how we make this right here, and go over this, you'll be fine. Okay, let's call this Animate 3. Okay, let's remove, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove everything so it's a standard cube which it now is. All right, so let's add an animator to our cube. We are going to right click in our assets and I have an animations thing, but we're gonna create a new animator controller. Name this animate three. Okay, animate three. Go ahead and drag that into the controller. And now we're gonna go to our trigger. We're gonna add in, you can see here, this is just a, again, standard cube. We have is trigger selected. We have two Udon behaviors already in here. We're gonna make a third one, right? So, we're gonna go to Udon. Um, I will show you my script for the animation for this. Yours is probably going to be different depending on what you're doing though, so we're not really going to walk through how to make that because it will be slightly different depending on what you're trying to animate. Um, me there we go issues there okay back on our trigger here we have the script let's go ahead and take a look at that you do not need this part this is for uh, vibrating player controllers so all you need is to drag in your animator and the rest this will be your variable, so you'll just go to your, just use animate three if you want. And just to the new variables, don't, don't do what I just said, just go to your variables, new variable, animator and you can name that whatever you'd like as you can see you can reuse it this is a reused one so name it whatever you'd like but that's that okay back to this now that we have our script in place we need to actually set what it's going to be animating which is the animate 3 
Pull these. There we go. Okay. And we're going to want to check synchronize position. So essentially what this is going to do is now this, when it is triggered, however you set that up, will trigger the animators on all these, which will trigger the state machine animations. So essentially all we have left to do is set up the actual state machine. And if you only really need to create your animations once, unless they're gonna be different things, because you can just right click, create empty state. I always start with an idle state. Create a new state. We have this state one. Create another new state. to look at our script for just a second so this makes sense the variable is open here is where we're getting this name you can set this to whatever you'd like again make it make sense for you so we're gonna say when is open which is essentially just saying there's somebody in this area we need a variable first. Boolean is open. We're going to add it as a condition as the arrow is open true. Go to state one. It will automatically go to state two. And we want to go back to state one. If is open is true. And we want it to exit if is open is false, which essentially means somebody has left. There's nobody in this play field. And if you didn't know, something kind of interesting um, is if you click the arrow that goes into the exit of the state machine, there's an has exit time default checked. And now what that means is it'll finish its animation even after somebody leaves this trigger before it exits the uh, cycle. Now, if you uncheck this, as soon as somebody leaves, it'll just break and reset to what it should be um, in the default state. So, we can now test this without actually having to go fully in game to see if we have any weird breaks, which we might. Okay, you can see idle's not doing anything. Oh, so here is we immediately forgot something. We have to actually add animations. So let's go to our state one. You can see the motion here is actually the animation. And if you already have animations, um, you can just drag and drop them in. If you don't know how to make animations, um, I did already do a video on that. So you can probably just search that and find it. All right, now we can try this again. Huh. 
<laughs> okay, well, I guess we would need to change the uh, positional values. Let's go ahead, I lied, let's go ahead and do the animation, son. Position, which makes sense. Hit record, zoom out to our timeline. Five seconds. Go to the five second mark, show it where we want it to be. Say way up here. Great. Gotta make another one for the way down. Actually, need to go to here. Remember this Y position. Go back. Set it as the starting Y position. Everything should be working. Let's go ahead and get in game and see what it looks like. All right, so here we are back in game. I feel like that's in the wrong position. working, just a little bug fixing. A little bug fixing. Oh no, my state machine broke. When did... Hmm. Okay, well, I'm not remaking that right now, but we can see it worked with these two. The only issue, um, why it was way up there is it just needs to be uh, reset back to zero and now I'm done. So that is basically how you animate one or more objects um, all at the same time. If uh, you were able to reproduce this and get your animations working on one trigger, you know, feel free to throw me a like, comment, or subscribe. I do appreciate it a lot and I'll be sure to catch you guys next time. Have a great day.